Bonjour mes amis, hi guys, I'm sure by now you have seen two dozen reviews about this watch, the Tissot PRX Powermatic 80. This is the automatic version with the Swatch Group's Powermatic 80 caliber inside. Look at it shining here in the light on my 17 centimeter wrist. So let's see how it fits for me. I think I'm quite lucky the way the um, the case the sort of lugs angle down and as well as the first link uh, which uh, doesn't uh, articulate it only articulates from the second link i think it is made perfectly for my wrist size but i do understand why people with smaller wrists would complain and i'm sure tissot who love to uh, sell watches will consider doing a smaller version maybe a 37 millimeter but anyway I like the bracelet doesn't no protrusion there when you close it and you can close this uh, double deployment clasp in any sequence so right side or left side first doesn't matter unlike other watches it is sized with pins not my preference but uh, otherwise the tolerances are, are nice and tight it's a beautiful bracelet now what i love the most is the dramatic taper from um, 18 millimeter at the clasp all the way up to 27 millimeter it is quite a showpiece remind me a bit of the uh, bulgari octo finissimo but the head of the watch is much uh, nicer much easier to wear but it's still quite an impressive uh, piece uh, to put on, on the wrist you can see here the case and uh, what i was talking about the first handling which doesn't articulate and the, where the articulation begins it's just okay for me but you don't want to look like you're wearing your big brother's watch if your wrist is smaller it might be overbearing but anyway here i have the the blue dial very impressive i love how the mid case is very slim it's the first thing i noticed when i picked up the watch uh, at the shop and when i saw that i thought okay they did it right and uh, it's difficult to get the design just perfect keep it simple uh, enough don't put too much and, and i think that um they made it perfect to keep the price point just right and the writing on the dial is great i like the the numbers 1853 the year of birth of the brand uh, always nice to have uh, numbers like this and prx programmatic 80 instead of putting automatic which is so useless i find uh, putting the name of the caliber at least uh, is interesting and they went for the waffle uh, type of dial i wish they went for something different like circle concentric circles for example to uh, differentiate a bit more from the obvious comparison the Rialog, the one that started everything early in the 70s now this watch is a reissue from the late 70s Tissot uh, did a, the sea star very similar to this you can see here at night the loom is sufficient uh, honestly it works enough at least on the hands until uh, the morning uh, that is my experience and it's very comfortable at night uh, i was saying uh, omega as well did a very similar watch you had uh, rolex uh, also doing the oyster quartz all the brands uh, did it but i think uh, here you really get that taste of the uh, the entry level manufacturer quality piece uh, from tissot everything is integrated now in the swatch group since 1983 uh, eta is part of it and this is uh, the caliber powermatic 80 80 hours of power reserve uh, which is uh, just a modification of the ETA 2824 uh, of the Swatch Group. It has a nice uh, rotor uh, finish there. There's discussion about whether you can have it serviced uh, independently or not. Probably not. Uh, I think uh, they drop out and drop back in a uh, new, um, new balance uh, wheel when uh, you go for a, a service. Two years of warranty, by the way, on uh, this watch. But I think the case back looks uh, quite nice so yeah the blue is beautiful more often than not it doesn't look blue actually outside it's going to look uh, darker black and then when you hit the light uh, it, it's going to look uh, blue you can see here the, the full look it's a it's a full-on look uh, the, the the case really has a cushion shape quite wide 27 millimeter where the bracelet begins it is quite wide so more of a casual watch but you can certainly wear it with a suit i have it on today uh, with a suit it's a bit more watch watch than i really need uh, when i want to dress a bit uh, classier but uh, in any case i think the execution everything the hands nice and flat i like that the uh, minute track 
is not on a reheart it is printed on the dial itself now here we ha i had the choice of a three watches i'm not a big fan of the white one with the rose gold but the black one i have to say marries better than the blue with my skin tone and the salesman uh, was agreeing with me while well, it was his favorite as well but first i decided to have them uh, size the blue one and to purchase it it's the hardest one to get but you know me i wanted to have my uh, options open and i figured well it's quite easy to resell the blue if it's the black that i prefer so i did purchase the black one as well which more often than not will look uh, gray and um I kind of like that look uh, black and steel you know i have a few things like that in my collection it is my favorite look for a watch so this is how the watch would come uh, when you buy it if you buy it online all wrapped up so why don't we remove all the the sticky wrapping from uh, this one remove the last bit there on the case back and uh, take a better look at uh, the black one uh, there you go, the waffle dial uh, as well. And on the wrist, I think it looks uh, really sharp. Tones down the whole dramatic effect compared to the, the blue one. And at least today in my frame of mind, my state of mind today, I think I'm gonna prefer the, the black one. So uh, if you're a friend of mine here in Hong Kong and watching this, maybe uh, there's a blue one available to you if you can't find it yourself in, um, in the shops i bought this myself in a shop here in between causeway bay and one shy if you want some reference there you go uh this is the suit i'm wearing today so it marries perfectly uh, with this uh, sort of gray black uh, type of dial and again let's look at the mid case wonderfully profile just enough bits of polishing i think that they kept the cost just right to offer something at 650 dollar i had to pay full price for the blue i had a 10 percent discount on the black is it good value really i think it's a great one watch and maybe you can add a, a seiko uh you, you know maybe a quartz uh chronograph and and a diver and then you have a nice three-piece collection to do a bit everything uh, this watch is very comfortable on an everyday basis now you know three years ago the brand that really was early into this revival of that 70s integrated bracelet look was maurice lacroix so let's compare uh, a bit here my maurice lacroix icon it's a much more substantial much heavier watch a lot more details much more involved uh, they are bracelet the clasp is um, has perlage finish quite a bit uh, nicer overall it's a much more deluxe product so it is worth indeed to me more but you have those big clothes so it is as well uh, a showpiece i think the dial is a bit nicer but the mini track is on a little rehab they are not as nice i prefer printed on the dial but i think the, the the hands and the indices are a bit nicer on the maurice lacroix and the, the crown as well is a bit nicer but it is a it is a busier type of watch but overall i think you get what you pay for but inside it is a similar caliber it's a silita uh, sw 200 y you know uh, not uh, it, it is quite comparable so there you go the black one compare it to the most lacroix i think it wears thinner actually at the junction with the bracelet than the the powermatic it is uh, i would have expected the maurice lacroix to wear bigger but i'm not so sure to be honest i think um the prx uh, has more of a cushion shape and a very imposing bracelet well there you go let me know what you think if you're thinking of buying one i think this tissot is a star in the making and uh, maybe they're probably working on a, on a smaller version you know tissot they know how to make watches and they know how to sell loads of them thank you for watching guys and i'll speak to you in the next one bye bye